Hey guys, in this video we're going to be making particle emitters. Pretty simple uh, code wise. Uh, it's basically the same as uh, an SK node or node emit or sprite node, whatever. Um, but you create a new file and you go to resource, break it particle file, uh, and then select the type of spark you or the type of emitter you want. And we'll go with rain. Um, and it looks kind of like rain, not really that much, but whatever. We're just doing it to figure it out. Um, so you can change all these things, like lifetime, which affects how how long they last after they've been created. You can change the number of particles. You can change the angle so that it's going up. I like I like that. I like up. Um, and then you can like change how random it is. Like how much it goes out to the right and left. And that doesn't look very good. And you can change the X range uh, speed. And that affects how far they go. Do like 50, it won't go nearly as high. See if they go up a little bit, but not really. And then, that's how fast they fall downward. And, yeah, that's pretty, you can make them bigger, the scale, or smaller, and change the range of, it like randomly, Picks a range. It'll generate a random number between 1.62 and uh, whatever 1, point 1 minus 0.62 is. 1.38. Yeah. Um, that's about it. And then here's the image that it uses, and it just, it's just a white image, if you can see that. It's a white brush image. It just uses that and, like, changes the color, basically. You can change the color here. Kind of cool. And then you can do all that from the code. Okay, so to do this, we, it's kind of weird. You have to make a string that is for the path of the particle. Um, it's an NS bundle main bundle. Path for resource. And then a string rain particle of type SKS. Basically, this creates the, it converts the resource file into a string. It converts the, the sprite kit emitter, whatever file, into a string. And now we can create an SK emitter node. NS keyed on archiver. Good luck remembering this. Uh, an archive object with file my particle path. Um, what's the problem here? Oh, sorry. Main bundle or no path. doesn't get used. Um, we'll set the position, CG point. Um, I'm just going to do 200, 200 because I don't want to write out the stupid self.frame.size.width, whatever. 
And then we'll set, yeah, we'll just run that. Wait, actually, we have to, sorry, we have to add it to the, add it to the screen. Node. Cool. Um, we can change node dot. Let's see, node dot, um, particle birth rate. All the properties of a emitter node begin with particle. If you're trying to look them up here, you can type particle and then see the entire list of them. Um, but we're doing birth rate. And then we can say 10. And it's only 10 per second. And we can change that to 10,000. And I don't know if that'll even run. Yeah, it's just 0, 1.6 frames per second. Way too many nodes. Um, yeah. I'm going to quit that so that it doesn't mess up my computer. Okay, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Now you know how to make a, an emitter node. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.